Today's video was sponsored by my good friends over at Spider Dude Comics. You can check out their links in the description below. You guys can save 10% off of any order by using the code JOURNOS10. This code never expires. And also, if they have any other promotions going on on their website, you can always piggyback the JOURNOS10 to get that extra 10% off as well. You can search by Marvel or DC or certain ages like Silver to Golden or your favorite characters like mine, Spider-Man. You guys could see a little bit of what they got going on here. Again, Silver Age to Modern Books stuff is extremely well-priced. If you know me by now, you know that I only push those that I truly support and that I truly believe in. So again, guys, go check out SpiderDudeComics.com. You can also follow them on Instagram and you can check out their YouTube channel by finding their link in the description below or finding their YouTube link on their website. What is going on everyone? Chris with Journals Comics and Pop Culture. Here I am again at the back of my car with some comic books. I just drove all the way down to Oakland to meet up with uh, someone to pick up a small little collection right here. So guys, today's video, we're gonna be diving into all of these books. All right, guys, so I usually like to take the books back to the house and sit in the comic book room and show them off, but we're going to do it from the from the trunk today. Um, before we go through the books, though, I do want to dedicate this video to Beer Gender. Um, I purchased these from an individual who lost their brother. He passed away not too long ago, and these were his books. So, uh, Beer Gender, uh, this is for you. Um, now, I, just like I told uh, his brother when I bought these, you know, I'll definitely be selling some of these, of course, but... Um, the ones that I do keep in my collection, obviously I'm very nostalgic. I believe uh, everyone's collection means something. And any collection that I've gotten from someone that uh, that I feel has, has nostalgic meaning, I do one of two things, or both things. One, I will rebag and board the books and put their name uh, from what collection I got it from on the backing board. And because I also use the CLZ app and catalog, uh, uh, catalog everything in the app it asks you you know what collection it's a part of and I pu I'll put their name in there too so uh, their gender uh, whatever books I keep those books will forever at least as long as I'm here be um, you know have his memory tied to them so wanted to make that uh, be known so let's just uh, let's go through some, some stuff here we got a couple of uh, Star Wars magazines uh, these are real cool uh, we got uh, comic books inside. So Star Wars featuring Indiana Jones. That's awesome. I don't have too much space in here <laughs> to go through these. This is so cool. There's Luke. I'm definitely keeping these. So anybody that's watching is like, hey, how much you selling that for? I'm, I'm not selling these guys. These are staying in the collection for sure. All right. All right, next up we have uh, Swamp Thing. Some Swamp Thing books. Set those aside. Some Spawn. Some early Spawns are always nice to have. I don't think I have this one, issue 23. Got some X Factor. Let's do this like this. I actually have like a, basically a full run of volume one X Factor. It's a good run. I haven't read all of it. I think I've read up to issue... Uh, so, like, right before the new team came in. Got some Detective Comics. 659 Nightfall tie-ins. Alright, we have the uh, first... Sabretooth in a Wolverine title. Classic Wolverine number 10. That's awesome. I do have uh, this one, so I will be putting one of them up for sale. Got some Uncanny X-Men's. 194. I think that's uh, the second appearance of uh, Nimrod. Uh, 248. Psylocke. This is the first appearance of the new... Psylocke, 256, one of my favorite books. Jim Lee cover, uh, and Psylocke being one of my favorite superheroes. 
some more detective comics good amount of 80s stuff you know and some early 90s stuff but still um overall solid stuff got some superman stuff you know funeral for a friend that's in everyone's collection <laughs> justice league adventures of superman adventures of superman we'll go through all of these we'll and of course the infamous issue 500 a couple copies of those here we go superman number 19 more there's 75 i wonder what uh edition uh this is well i'll pull that out later funeral for a friend all this stuff got some fantastic four some more Fantastic Four. So anybody is, as um, you know, there's a new Fantastic Four, 348. So I'm going through these. Let me know if there's anything that anybody, if you guys are interested in. Again, I'm not selling at all. Um, I will be adding whatever I need to my runs from all of these runs. Some more Uncanny. Uncanny 304. There we go, X-Men 25. Taking the adamantium from Wolverine's Claws. X-Force. Jim Starlin. Gilgamesh. Here we go, here's some Sandman stuff. Sandman special number one. Is this issue eight? Yeah, this is issue eight, I believe. Is this the uh, first appearance of death? So that's a that's a good one. Fifteen. I think there was another first appearance in here, uh, but I don't I don't remember off the top of my head in the Sandman books. Oh, this one's signed. It looks like a Neil Gaiman signature. Nice. All right. Some more Sandman. Good amount of Sandman stuff. I'm just plowing through this, guys. See if there's any other stuff. Some Hell, Hellblazer, the DC Vertigo run. I've never been much into Hellblazer. If anybody's interested in some Hellblazer, let me know. Ooh, some more Weapon X. I don't think I saw that in here. Ooh, got books falling over here. <laughs> uh, 81, 82. I think I might have the complete uh, Weapon X run now. Sick. I'm excited about that. Havoc and Wolverine. I've actually never seen these. Walter uh, Simonson. Not sure what those are. Hmm. Superman cards. Some Swamp Thing. Some more Spawns. Early Spawns. There's Spawn number 8. Anybody interested? Got a couple in there. More Spawns. Wolverine World Wildlife, Wildlife Fund. Nice. Some more Nightfall, Batman tying stuff. Star Wars issue 101. I don't think I have issue 101. Sick. Oh, there's another one in there. What is this? Let's see what this is. Issue 103. I don't think I have either of those. Yes. Here we go. Tales of the Jedi. Ooh. The Freedom. Nat Uprising. I don't think I have this either. Okay, this is the standard to Tales of the Jedi number two. So that is in the standard number one, which is the first appearance of... Ah, I forget. Um, but it's a tie-in. But these are from the, the regular um, original uh, miniseries. Uh, Savage Dragon number one. Oh, sick. Savage Dragon and Ninja Turtles. All right, let's see what we got here. 
think this is all the Alpha Flight stuff. Yep, Alpha Flight, Alpha Flight. I was looking for a first appearance of, um, oh my God. Um, oh my God, I'm having a brain fart, guys. Two, six, seven, eight, nineteen, twenty-five. I don't think it's in here though. Twenty-six. Lady Deathstrike. It's thirty-one, right? So yeah. But still cool. Some uh, Alpha Flight. All right. And that's not it. We got one more little stack here of a lot of good Punisher stuff. Now, I have good solid um, run of uh, the first Punisher run, or well, technically volume two, the ongoing Punisher War Journal number eight. I might keep some of the War Journal. Whatever I have of the volume one, um, I will be selling. Here we go. Uh, Moon Knight and uh, first Moon Knight and Punisher team up. We got the Jigsaw tie-in. Love the Jigsaw uh, six-part series. Some war journals. $2.99. $2.99. Some more of the uh, Jigsaw tie-in. Do I have issue two? I'm pretty sure I have the whole... Uh, one through six, but we got the whole one through six right here. These old polyethylene bags sticking. This is a solid run, though. You guys can see. I mean, it's like every issue. Not every issue, but every issue going down to at least what? What do we got here? There's 24. Secret Defenders, number one. Some Robin. Ravage, 2099, number one. More War Journal. Lots of war journal stuff. Sick cover with Spidey. We got Daredevil, 228. 324. 325. Sick cover. Long shot, number three. Uh, Green Lantern, Emerald Twilight, number 48. It's where, uh, uh, what's his name, comes in. We're on Mars created. Help me out, guys. I'm brain farting. 49. There's some more Alpha Fight 36. Oh, some more Sandman. 33. Got some uh, Infinite Crisis. Here's issue 12. I don't think I have issue 12. I don't think I have issue 10 either. Love that cover. Fantastic Four, some Mariner uh, mini series, the twelve issue series, Black Orchid, some more Punisher going all the way down to nineteen eighteen, Wolvie, and that's it. New stand. There it is, guys. That is the lot. Let me get these before they. <laughs> start slipping and sliding so again i want to thank uh thank you guys for watching and i want to thank um you know uh the individual that i met today that made this happen we were communicating all week and i had to take about a 75 minute drive to go pick him up but i'm glad i did like i said i'm definitely gonna keep his brother's memory alive on the books that i keep in my collection and those are gonna pass down to my kids and probably their kids so um, good stuff. So guys, if there's anything that you want to, uh, that you might be interested in, if I am selling it, you know, you can always feel free to hit me up, find me on Instagram at journals underscore comics, but I can't wait to go home and just start bagging and boarding some books and filling some, uh, some holes in my runs as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your comments in your thought or leave your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> be well until next time.